my name is Scott Amaras, and I'm the co-author of Ceremonies. My name is Melissa St. Hilaire, and I'm the co-author of Saramond. The name of Saramond um, originates from the south of France, from the Black Mountain. Um, there's a few different legends about her. In one of them, she's a witch who lives in a cave underneath the castle of Quentinue in Les Storms. And she only comes out on February 2nd when she can, uh, when she predicts the weather. And if she comes out and she's playing the flute, then it will be a beautiful spring. If she comes out and she's wailing and lamenting, then winter will continue. Um, she also is a fairy. Um, who protects the river Arnett, and she has her golden comb. Um, the origins of Saramond, when I was tracing them back and doing the research, look like they come from the Basque goddess Mary, and she is, is the witch goddess, and she bring, is, rides the storms, and um, she's also dressed in goat skins, and her hair goes to the floor. So in writing Saramond, I gave Saramon more of the fairy aspects of the legend, and I gave Alaski a little bit more of the witch aspects, but they, they all come from the same source. How did I get involved with Saramon? I guess it all started when Scarlett and I were talking about goth erotica by the pool and how there wasn't really enough and she had this really great idea with witches and a cult and evil and darkness and love and betrayal and all these things that you know were right up my alley and uh, then some time passed and in that time I actually wrote a book and published it, a memoir and Scarlett read it and she oh, she thought I was up for the job so I got an email from her and uh, she basically said hey you want to help me write this story and I was like yes absolutely and here we are today dark fantasy My character descriptions come from, generally I, I, I like to put in bits and pieces of people that I know um, and give them quirks. Um, truth be told, when I was writing the story, um, I created the character of Mariel based on someone that had done something tremendously horrible to me and had basically like gone out of her way to destroy my life. And I knew in writing this that I was exercising the demon of her ghost because I knew that I would kill her, which is something that I would never even fathom in real life, but you know, being the writer I, I could kill her off and I did and, and it was therapeutic. I mean I think that that's that's one of the fantastic things about writing is that you can bring up your darkest fantasies or you can exercise your demons. So I think that a, the one thing that most people ask me is what is it like to collaborate writing a book? And I have to say, I've, I've collaborated with a few different people on a few different projects, and what it really boils down to is clicking with someone. And if it's the right person, it's fantastic. And if it's the wrong person, well, that's another thing. Um, thankfully, Scarlett's the right person, and it just so happens that all of her strengths are my weaknesses, and my strengths are her weaknesses, and it just balances out perfectly. What makes an interesting character? I like characters.
characters that are morally challenged. Um, I enjoy writing characters that are mor morally challenged. I do a lot of script writing. It's like what I like to see on the screen. But I enjoy when good people are put in bad situations, when bad people are put in good situations, and seeing the choices that they make or don't make. I think that makes for interesting writing. Um, I enjoy killing off characters when I probably shouldn't or having them make absolutely horrible choices and paying for it in the most terrible sort of way and then having it all kind of work out in the end. But I think that the more morally complex people are, the, the, the more interesting characters, the characters that you love to hate are always the ones that you remember the best and love the most. <laughs> snake sex scene. Uh, I knew I'd have to answer for that one. The funny thing is, it's, uh, it was actually, well, sort of twisted, dark masturbation fantasy. And I said, uh, that was great. <laughs>